Hi there, Peter from ATV. Here we are at Sha Tin. Got Pete Gallivan, uh, the, the uh, producer and cameraman for the moment. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's a brilliant place, a lovely place. For anyone that hasn't been to Sha Tin, I'll recommend it. And this is only in the, pre the preliminary days leading up to our big race on Sunday, where um, Tiberian will be uh, contesting the international VARs. Just seen him have a little gallop here this morning. We've got a couple of photos. He looks in super shape. Um, so, yeah, so ATV TV this week will come from Sha Tin. Just a little prelim in, and I'll uh, run through runners and results back in Australia, and we'll add bits and pieces from uh, the barrier draw where Graham Ferguson will uh, hopefully draw. A good gate. Barry Four's been mentioned in dispatches here over the last couple of nights. And, uh, if we can get that gate, um, yeah, it'll be exciting and we'll give Tiber and every chance to perform well on Sunday. Anyway, uh, time out from here and I'll uh, catch you a bit later on in the day uh, with a bit more ATV TV. TV 
Hong Kong. Yeah, let's go there. And I think we're at Hong Kong at the moment. Okay. We might go to Sha Tin on Sunday, I reckon, well. Love you, weekly. We have a, uh, a select little crew here today as we go through our runners and results. We've got Tracy here in the loop, Pete Gulliver, Mel Lynch, myself, Graham Ferguson, and Gabby, who's just had a shot, just fell asleep for just a little while. You're very happy with the uh, background music? Excellent. Righto. What we, we're going to probably get this through in 10 or 12 minutes. We're uh, under the pump a little. We're going to go back to uh, our results last week. Tracy, can you lead us away? So we, last Friday we had Galileo's Pearl run 7th at Mid Valley. And this is a planned Mick Kent uh, second up. He always told us third up is a go. It improved from the first up run, beat about five lengths again on next start. I see it's been nominated during the week, but I know the, whole, uh, the race has been set for is the Valley. Friday, uh, what are we, Thursday here in Hong Kong, so yeah. tomorrow week, 2,000 metre race to get on, Graham. 15th of the December. Yeah, that'll do us, so uh, there we go. What's next on the... So on Saturday we had Monty Deva run fifth at Sandown. Yeah, look, a bit disappointing this year. She ran Melbourne Cup Day and was way down the track. The high stable went back in class to Sandown, back to a benchmark 70. Travelled into the race, but it was a heavy track that day, so I don't know whether it's her going bad or she didn't handle the heavy track. She ran fifth, but she's beaten about six weeks, so she's heading for a spell. The jury's out. And then on Tuesday, we had Mr. Moneybags run fourth. Horse, a ridden tycoon, Colt has got a lot of ability. He was, uh, I was going to say, a bit like a drunken sailor, but he might have been a bit like a drunken Hong Kong Tiberian owner down the straight. Come on, Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> he ran well, he was just, he got, he had to do a lot of work, three and four wide without cover. He ran home for fourth, his best work was late. He looks like a bowler in the making, so we wait for him. Time. Uh, Mel, I think we go to you now. Sounds good, Pete. Uh, Monday, our approach. I've had a look at the replays, but I've been in Hong Kong with those who've been on. Social, uh, our approach was at, sorry, terrain. I went down to that. Ran last, Mel. We, <laughs> we know she's a 2,000 metre horse. That was 1,400. Uh, she'll have another run over a mile, and if she's not showing, something sort of fourth up over 2,000. Uh, Jerry's out there as well. So we'll wait another two starts for her. Social spin. Yeah, on Wednesday. I'm social... your line, sorry. That's yeah, good. You're <laughs> taking control, aren't you, Pete? He's like that, Darren. Uh, Wednesday, social spin at Bendigo. Half uh, brother to La Passe, if you'll remember her, our group three, dual group two winner. Two and three. Darren will correct me there, no oh, doubt. Oh, he will, mate. You get an email tomorrow if you can get through on. First start, uh, this is a Turak Toff Colt, two-year-old. We were surprised he actually got to the races. He ran last. He actually looked like he was going to pass a few in the home straight, but I think he fitness. Fizzled out, ran last, beaten 10. Wait for another day. It's this is. Uh, Thursday, Hamichi Joe. We just a all content. watched that replay, yeah. and um, she ran a nice race. She kicked on. Got to a nice spot, 1-1. One, one. Uh, I think the best word was light, uh, along with a few other horses. I think six horses, less than a length of totem. And she was good. I think she hadn't had a run for about four or five weeks for a few of issues. Um, so that run should have her fitted up for a mile race next start. So that's those. That's it. Yeah, it's been that's, up that's all our results. There's no winners in much. A couple of handy runs and a few uh, juries out, as I said before. Stay so stay tuned. Runners coming up. Pete Gallivan. Well, we have a few. And we have Saturday, Broadway and First at Peckham. It's a great goal. And John Allen's riding it. Yep. I, uh, this was the last bit of work I did before I left. I got a phone call at Tullamarine saying, Dean Yendall's manager wondered why he was off the horse and John Allen was on the horse. Purely a fact that the horse has got 59. John Allen rides at about 56, so it's not much dead weight. If you had to ride it, unless he owned about four rounds of backers that morning, he would have had this saddle that probably is, yeah. So anyway, this horse had no chance at Ballarat last time because of the heavy track, just does not go on the heavy. He's ready to win, drawn gate four, I think, or three. Gate three. Gate three. John Allen, uh, big straight, big track at Packenham. Almost to get on. Almost to really? get on. Almost to get Load on. Up, up. 
much of one over there. So there we go. There's one for uh, Graham Ferguson to knock the odds around on. Yeah, no, no problem there. <laughs> <laughs> sorry the owners brought one too, so it's only two or three. Now, well, sorry, mate. It's OK. No worry, Neb, I'm on you. No worry. <laughs> Next, we've got uh, Condova Hall and Saul. Yeah, this is one of the women's racing horses who is uh, just... Needs racing, he's a master craft, a three year old. And, uh, we're just trying to get as many runs into him and get him into a trip where the ingredient comes into play. This is only a mile, so I think we'll have another look at him and then we'll get him out to 2000 in about two weeks' time. Michelle's back on board. We've had Dean Yendall and George Charles ride the last two times. And uh, yeah, we just want to say an improved run with fitness under his belt. Okay, uh, also a stall, we've got. Uh Serious Witness with um, N. Failey, is it? Yeah, and this is um, Serious Witness is a horse of Weary had a mare, four year old mare, uh, but the, uh, we didn't say take it off Weary, but there was a bit of a change of ownership. Went to Matt Kamani, who then lost his ticket to went to Algie Alexander. She's a maiden that's won about $40,000 because of the Super Overs. First start over at Miles was actually the same race as Condover Hall. Won her last trial and uh, sneaky chance at odds. It's stalled. The only thing it's stalled, it's a bit of a um, saucer bowl type track. She's a big man with a big stride, so uh, bigger track would be a bit more confident, but I think she's going to run a nice race. Okay, also a stall we've got uh, Lovelet Moon. Yeah. With Jack Hill on board. Lovelet was in the meeting that was cancelled at Waddle's. As we're sort of sitting here not knowing what it is, I'll just flash up the meeting on the screen. <laughs> just had a blank blank for a while, but yeah, it means something. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. Sure. Anyway, back to Craig and Air. Ran second on Oaks Day to Mr. Garcia, who uh, is a nice run. international horse. And back to a mile. Um, it's not a bad little field, but this horse is going really well. Back in June, it was sacked, and the high stable worked out that it needed to be ridden for a while. Since then, it's been a, a well, super improved horse. It's a half, half sorry, it's a full uh, brother to catch him. And um, there's a few owners that sort of intimate him now. Might be starting to catch Catchy with the ability. Yeah, that wouldn't so, be Frosty, would it? No, uh, uh, Roger Gleason. Yeah, there's a few there. It's getting a little bit. Sunday, boys yeah, and girls. There's Squido, 
at Border Town, 1100 metres. What do you think, Pete? Well, I know there's no S in a squeedo, it's Equieto, but well, apart from that, Equieto, you know, like it, I know you're looking <laughs> through uh, beer glasses, but uh, this horse Chance. was, was with Darren Weir, and we've sent it out to Paul Prushka and Horsham for a reason. It's now to race at Border Town. It's top weight draw barrier one. Right, guess what I'm going to say? Get the money. Get on. Get on, OK. Get on at about two to one. Two to one, OK. Well, I'll have some of yours on it, Pete. <laughs> Penthouse Playboy at Werribee, yeah. Dean Yendel, 2000. Uh, this is by Graham out of Ferguson, this horse. Oh, sorry, it's a Pentile. Room 2904, Grand High. Um, Dean Yendel on. This horse has had two starts at Brent Third. First up at Donald, then Matt uh, followed up with a wild, uh, sorry, an 1800 metre fifth at Sandy, which is good mate for. Yendel on it at 2000 metres. Barrier three. Can I get the money or what? Oh, you want to get it, eh? Oh, thank you, I get on and get off. This horse will run well. I wouldn't be surprised. Dino Yendel has this in the first couple in running. Right. And hard to run down. Ran some money at Werribee. Ditto. <laughs> Dean Yendel. You've got to be on this. Ditto. This You've got to be on this. Sitting outside the loop. Kicks at the top of the straight and almost gets the money grown. But should get the money. Ran fourth at Sandown. Last start. This is uh, real good form for a benchmark 64 of Werribee. This is something for you guys out there who don't know how to punt, you should have a bet on. And then we've got Tiberian racing at Shat In. And if it does Shat In, we'll be all very happy. <laughs> happy. <laughs> and we're hopefully he will Shat In. Now, Graham, yeah. you had a bit to do with the barrier draw today out there at Shat In. Look, we Ooh. wanted to draw between 10 and 8. You got it right. <laughs> but I got 9, so. You know, I, think I think we're doing it right. You yeah. know? So yeah. what was the reason behind it? You must have seen the um, speed map before well, you drew. Exactly right. We knew what was going to go, what had drawn before us and what had drawn after. You were the second and one out. I was in the middle one there. You were the second one out. Yeah, though. but I determined what was oh, going right on. Yeah. They didn't want to run around behind us. So, yeah. Yeah. so I think uh, nine I'm nine yeah. I'm yeah. happy. happy. The field will be split. We'll get in the middle, lob fourth or fifth on the outside. And um, look, if I could ride him myself, I would, but I'd have to waste a bit. But uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think Olivier should be able to do that. Before, that. He would have loved to have ride him. Really. Oh, yeah, we had a huge bowman huge there. Huge bowman was here before. But he, could, he couldn't make the weight, so... Oh, he made the weight. He, he couldn't no, he make couldn't. the weight. <laughs> he made, huge bowman. He made the scales, mate. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so, anyway, actually, happy racing out. on Sunday, boys and girls. We're all out there. We actually heard <clears> from um, <throat> Manu and Sean and yep. Elaine, and they were all very... Yeah, yeah, you, can you give us an example of how Manu felt the horse was going? Well, I asked Manu, and you would have seen it in a little clip here, what he thought. Was there any improvement from the Melbourne Cup to yep. here at Shatty? Yeah. And Manu's simple answer was... So I'd say he's muscled up Much a little stronger. bit. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll take that huge. Well, that, that was it. Well, yeah, that was big. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, that's happening. And Shard's uh, comment was... I think it was yeah. three varies. Very so, yeah. so we're here at uh, the Grand Hyatt. The horse is out at Shatin. <laughs> Which it will. We've actually changed that name, haven't we? It's yeah. Shatin. Yeah, Shatin. Do Which he will Shatin on Sunday. Is that right? I think just to cut it all short, to temper it and tidy it up, with, to end it. We're all having a great time here yeah. in Hong Kong. And thanks, Darren, for picking up the bill. It's much appreciated. Yeah. Darren, Please cheers Darren. to Darren. 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 Hi there guys, back again. Um, with the expert help of my support crew there, I uh, uh, forgot to go through prospective runners for next week, early next week, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. Just to briefly go through the names, uh, obviously I'm uh, not up with where the acceptances are. It's 7 o'clock in the morning here, Friday morning Hong Kong, and um, yeah, just to sort of tidy up who potentially those runners are. Uh, obviously, we mentioned Mr. Moneybags earlier. He's nominated for a couple of races at both Wardle and uh, Mornington, Tuesday, Wednesday. Now, I um, uh, obviously haven't spoke to Robbie Griffiths over the last few days. I, I doubt whether he'd back up seven or eight days later. But anyway, there's noms in for him. PK, who was down to run at Bendigo last Wednesday, 
is down for Wallable on Tuesday, and um, I'm 95% sure he'll go there. Uh, Tennessee Gold is also down to go there. We've uh, had her nom for a couple of runs, but Darren Weir uh, thinks this is the better option over 14 at Wallable. Our approach, who ran um, last Monday, uh, she's in at Warnable, uh, potentially on an eight-day backup. I'm not 100% sure whether she'll go there either. And Artisano definitely will go to the 2300-metre benchmark 58 after his big win at Ballarat. We've also got Captain Harry in a 1500-metre maiden. Uh, nominated at Mornington. Now he's ready to win wherever he goes, especially in maiden class after two um, really good efforts at his last two runs. Uh, see Galileo's Pearl is down for 2000 at Mornington as well. Uh, I did think the main aim there was uh, a couple of days later at Mooney Valley um, at a benchmark 70 over 2000. So we'll just see how it rolls there. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, um, Mr. Moneybags is also nom for a 1600 there, but whether he backs up seven or eight days later, I'm not too sure. Anyway, guys, I just thought I'd finalise those. Um, you guys will know more about the acceptances probably prior, uh, before I do. Um, yeah, next time I speak to you, I'll be back in Australia and uh, looking forward to heading out to Sha Tin on Sunday to um, join in with the owners and uh, see if we can't get uh, Ty Bruin across the line in the international vase. Okay, signing out from Hong Kong and we'll see you all back in Australia next week.